So Slim also has really good support for controllers. Now at the moment, if we wanted to kind of think of topics as a resource, we would have to do something like get topics to grab a list of all topics. We would have to do say topics slash and then ID to get a individual topic. Maybe to create a topic, we would have post topics. And then maybe to delete a topic, we would use the delete HTTP verb, which we've not covered, uh, but we will be looking at something similar later. And really, depending on how much logic you have inside of here, your roots file is going to get a little bit cluttered and a little bit messy. Now, since we already have auto loading set up, what we're now going to look at is rather than doing all this and getting into a huge mess, we're going to look at setting up controllers instead. So let's just get rid of this back to normal and let's go and start to create our first controller and start to switch this out and see how we do it. So if we come over to app, what I would usually do is create a controllers folder. That kind of makes sense. We know that we can auto load these so uh, we don't need to require these in anywhere. And let's create a new controller. Now a controller is essentially just a class with different methods. So in this case, I would create a topic controller and notice the casing I'm using, so a capital T and a capital C here. Go ahead and create this and let's very quickly set this up. So before anything, we know that the namespace is now app and then controllers, so we can go ahead and define that out. And then we can go ahead and define our class out. So this is of course gonna be the uh, name of the file, which is topic controller. So now what we can do is in here, rather than define our individual roots here, create a method for each of the actions we want to take on a topic. So maybe we would have a method in here for showing all topics. So let's just return all topics. And maybe we had an individual method to show a particular topic. So maybe we had a show method and we return show a single topic like so. Now we can do things like render views and pick up arguments from here, but we're gonna look at that in the next section because it requires a little bit more setup. But this is enough just for us to test this out. So what do we do in this case then? How do we take this and kind of transform it into using this method? Well, it's actually very, very simple. And I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to do this depending on your personal preference. So what we do is get rid of the closure because effectively what we're doing with this closure is we are running some code when we hit this URL. Now we just wanna run this code when we hit this URL so we can get rid of this. And there's a couple of ways, like I said, to do this. I'm gonna show you the first way and then we're gonna kind of tidy this up a bit. And what we do here is we provide the full namespace to the topic controller, like so. And then what we do is we use a colon and then the method name. Now in this case, this would be index. So we just go ahead and write index in there. And that is it. That is all we do. And now when we hit topics, anything we have to find out in here will be run. We'll respond with a request if we need to. We can do any kind of logic in here. And more importantly, what we can do is if we want, we can create protected or private methods that help us out along the way. So we have the ability to add more to this class to keep things away from our roots file. That's kind of the point of creating a controller. It's a lot cleaner and it's a lot easier to work with. And it's also easy because you have one place that you can come and update anything you need to do with topics, whether that's adding things, updating things or removing things. So let's go ahead and just take a look at how this works in the browser and then we'll kind of refactor this a little bit to be a little bit tidier. So let's come over and of course we're going to come over to slash topics and sure enough we see what we returned from that controller method uh, just on the page. So what I'm going to do now is duplicate this down and we'll just show an example of uh, using say show. Of course in this case the URI is going to be different. We're going to have an ID in there which we're going to look at picking up in the next part but this would just involve doing pretty much the same thing. So show single topic. We know that when we hit this page, we're using this show method. So come over, go ahead and enter an ID in there and we get the following. So really, really straightforward to really tidy things up. What we now have is however many of these we define, it's gonna be nice and tidy because we may have a users controller, we may have a posts controller, we may have a contact form controller, you know, you name it, you can do whatever you want. So what we'll do now is just take a look at tidying this up. Now, within PHP, what we can actually do is if we just kill the page here and do a var dump on 
the full class name here. So let's we'll just grab this just to demonstrate. And then I'm going to use colon colon class. Now what this will do is it will give me a string back of the full class name. So let's just run this in the browser and see what we get. And you can see that we get a string with app controllers topic controller. Now what we can do with this is be a little bit clever and say, well, at the top, I want to use this controller. So let's go ahead and get rid of that and use this at the top as we've already seen an example of. And now what I can do is get rid of this and simply onto this concatenate topic controller class, which will give us the full name or the string for this class. And then we can concatenate on the method that we want. And we can do the same thing for show as well. So let's get rid of this and pop that in there and concatenate that on. So for me, this is a little bit cleaner because we don't have to every time we create a new route to find out the full path to this. But again, it's entirely up to you. There's no right or wrong way to do this. If you prefer the way that we've just uh, switched this over from, feel free to do that. It's entirely up to you. So if we just go ahead and refresh here, you can see it works in exactly the same way. And we can now view all topics and view a single topic. Now, taking this a little bit further, what you could do is tidy this up by looking at a root group, as we've already seen. So in this case, we would define out a group, we would have topics. And in this case, we would have we would still have our closure. But this time we would just move everything into there. And then, of course, now we change this over to this and then we get rid of this. And then, of course, we have an ID. So if you had lots of things uh, to do with topics, this might just tidy things up a little bit more. And you can see that this works once again in exactly the same way. So that is a basic introduction to controllers. You now have free reign to pretty much do anything you want inside of here. You can go ahead and define out, like I said, protected properties uh, if you wanted to, if you had some kind of thing to do. Maybe you had the uh, or some kind of query to get a topic just in here and you wanted to use that within multiple different uh, methods you now have free reign to go ahead and do that inside of here. So a lot cleaner, much better than defining out all of your logic for any of your routes in one file.